Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting for the first time, hi, my name is Olivia and I make videos on here YouTube. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? So, from the title, I guess you have already seen what we're gonna do in this video. And without further ado, let's get started. So, AI has become an essential part of our daily life from heavy duty jobs to our smallest chores in our house everything can be controlled by ai and i'm pretty sure till now you have heard the name of chat gdp and if you don't know about chat gdp let me tell you what it is chat gdp is basically a computer program that takes your question as input and response back as best way possible from its end but in text form so basically it's like having a personal assistant but in digital form so today i'm gonna ask my personal assistant aka chat gdp for a perfect makeup look and further ado let's go to the chat gdp so here i asked chat gdp write a perfect makeup tutorial for me and and here is chat gdp's response to that chat gdp has given me a 10 step makeup tutorial which you can see from here so as for chat gdp the first step is start by cleansing and moisturizing your face to create a smooth face for the application so you're gonna need a cleanser for that or face wash so here i have this face wash by Himalaya. so okay let me just put my hair in a low pony first. Uh, and I'll have face wash. You could use any face wash. I use it because it suits my skin type and it's kind of affordable too. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna take this much amount and apply it to my face. Okay, let me wash it up real quick. So I'm back and in the process, I splash all the water all over myself. You may think, Olivia, it's not that cold. But let me tell you, for a person who lives in tropic near the sea, it's hella cold. And the next step is to moisturize. Well, I moisturize it. Again, this video is not sponsored by Himalaya, but it's affordable, it does the job. So. I decided to pick this one. Much amount. I guess that is fine. And I'm gonna slap it to my face like this. This is too much, by the way. Why did I? Why did I do this? I will use it in my hands. Let's see the step number two. My primer which can help to create a smooth canvas for your foundation and also help makeup last longer so so i'm gonna use this primer this is by nika prep me up and in okay this is going to be a this looks like this is what it looks like I'm just gonna use it like this and hope it will blow out my pores and make me look like a Snapchat filter. Use a form, so apply after. <laughs> so, after applying the primer, here comes the next step. And according to ChatGDP, uh, use a foundation that matches your skin tone and apply it with using a brush or sponge. Blend it well into the jawline and hairline. Okay. So I'm gonna use it this OG Maybelline Super Stay in the shade Sun Beige. I hope so. Yep. I have used it this much that it looks like this. I'm gonna just open this bottle and take um, this much amount of it 
and see this much amount I'm gonna take this much amount is it in dots take your hairline and since I can't find my foundation brush so I'm gonna go with a sponge but the thing is my sponge needs to go to the hospital oh my god it looks lighter on on camera but in person it is not too bad I know it looks lighter right now but it will look as same as my skin tone as the time goes on so trust the process right so we have our foundation on now the next step conceal any blemish or dark circles using a concealer that matches your skin tone this is gonna be fun this is the OG Maybelline concealer in the shade in the shade god knows what shade probably medium I'm not sure it says conceal your dark circles I'm just gonna put it here and a little bit here I think foundation has already did the job so I'm just gonna use a little bit and then comes the Ozzy sponge I'm just gonna blend it out that's the bulk of using um, maybe in super stay foundation because you see that actually this foundation is so much full coverage and it does the foundation plus concealer job so you don't need much Set the foundation and concealer with a translucent powder to keep everything in place. Okay, we need a powder. Not a powder, translucent. And here is my foundation. I mean, it's my translucent powder. So, it's a fit me one. How much I take the powder and... Seems like we are in 2016-17. Please don't judge me. I still do my makeup like this. Not everyday purpose, but on special occasions, yes, I do still my makeup like this. And with the rest of that, I'm just gonna drill my brush around it. And just dust it off lightly. So after the powder we are going to the next step and which is use a bronzer to add dimension to your face and apply to the cheekbones and forehead and to the jawline. Okay, add this thing by sugar. Look how much tiny this product is but the product is amazing. Let me tell you that. So I'm gonna take this much amount in my brush and gonna repaint my whole face to the cheekbone I'm gonna curve my cheekbones my jawline yep I'm just gonna get my jawline up look this side and this side this tiny little thing will change your life Bella how did you do? Oh my god, this is so good actually. They didn't mention anything about loose contour. So I guess I will leave it like that or should I do it? Should I do it? Yeah, I think I might do it.
so I did a little bit a little bit nose contour so just to add some dimension otherwise it was looking so bland so next step is it says use a blush to add a pop of color to your cheeks and a healthy flush to your skin okay I use this palette by sugar all in yeah you can see how much I love the contour shade you can literally see how much I love the contour shade it is over here take a little bit it takes a healthy flush so this acts a little bit this acts fine as for natural cool. I'm gonna just apply it just over my cheekbone to add some healthy glow just a pop of color there next to your primary upper begin by applying a neutral eyeshadow to the entire eyelid as base then use a darker eyeshadow to contour the crease and outer corner of the eye apply eyeliner and mascara to define and enhance your eye so i'm gonna use uh, something brownish shade because it's neutral to my eye color so yeah fluffy brush the fluffier one i'm gonna use this palette by makeup revolution and i'm gonna take this brown shade over here and i'm just gonna apply it to my eyes as the piece shade does it look good i don't know but we are gonna trust the palette. yeah now i have to take some darker shade to define my crease and I don't know what I'm doing I'm seriously I don't know I don't know what I did but this is how it came out so I'm gonna just apply some eyeliner first of all let me find that one first I got it now the most difficult part of any makeup process to create a even and equal line i can't even draw a straight line with scale so yeah this is gonna be a disaster okay Let me fix that. Okay. So I know it's supposed to look like twins or sisters, but it looks like your seven sibling. <sighs> Should have worked on my eyebrow skills and also on my liner skills. Now I'm gonna apply this mascara to enhance my eye. I'm gonna do it here. Mascara is like um, that product. You need to apply it, but nobody ever notices it. So I don't know what's the point. But here I'm back with applying that mascara. Now for the next step, step nine: finish off the look by filling your eyebrows with a pencil or brow powder and apply a lip color of your choice. Okay, I'm gonna use this one and. I can't remember what is name, so use what you have. I'm just gonna fill my brows. And it says choice of your lip color. So a little bit peachy sound, peachy nude. So I'm, I'm gonna first line my lips this is a lip color by your choice so i'm gonna take this lipstick and mix it with another one i'm just gonna take this is um not red it's a deep pink i said 
and it gets a very sheer coverage. I'm gonna use this by Creamy Mats. Not satisfied. <laughs> and a brown lipstick to it. So yeah, three lipsticks. They say color of your choice, so this is my color. Now I'm gonna apply this lip gloss to finish it off. I need that glow, baby. It's time for the final step. Makeup by using a setting spray, it helps to lock your makeup in place. So, I'm gonna use this setting spray by Makeup Revolution. So, I'll be back after doing my hair and change this hoodie. So, don't go away. So, I'm back again. So after doing my hair and putting this dress on, so it looks like this. I guess it's it turned out quite nice. And let me know your thoughts in the section. Till then, take care and bye bye.